and it's time for another unboxing. This video is not being sponsored by Amazon, nor the product being displayed below. All of these comments and uh, dialogue are mine only and have not been, uh, I'm not being paid or compensated in any way, shape or form by Amazon or the person. I am not being paid, uh, you know, I'm not being compensated. Cool, okay. Again, thanks to the Amazon buying program, I was very fortunate to get sent to me a product that I have used and loved and did not know they have come out with a version two. This is the Bose Quiet Comfort 35 Series 2 wireless headphones noise canceling devices in silver. These are supposed to be silver. The picture look on it looks like it's black. It is silver, brand new, so we've got the sticker on the bottom and everything's in the box. One of the main physical differences of this version versus the Series 1 is this has an additional button on one of the earphones that has a smart switch that will you can press and hold it and it'll pull up Siri or Google Assistant, whichever one you want to use to, to um, activate that search function or have some dialogue with your assistant. That being said, let's get into the box. Let's slice away the outer plastic. And as usual, there's a retail hang tag here that can be hanging in a retail type store. There does not seem to be, nope, there is no, it's just gonna slide right out of the box. So here we go. This kiddo pulls out of here, which gives us the Bose insert. Take this guy out. And there's a little piece of thin rubber or thin material to help with some cushioning in the packaging. Nice to have. And this is mostly sacrificial in that it's just a, an insert which has some information here. Uh, let's see. Download the Bose Connect app for setup. I've already got that, so we're good to go there. Uh, to activate the unit, there's a side button here I'll show you in a minute to turn the unit on. And the rest of those instructions are available here in a dozen languages for you to choose from. English, Spanish, uh, Norwegian, Polish, Swiss, uh, Swedish. Uh, looks to be Thai, Indian, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Italian, French, Finnish. You get the idea. Uh, nothing on the back. So, nice thing for this. Ah, dust can pack, keep everything nice and dry. And then the full on uh, uh, directions and everything like and all the warranty stuff in here. I won't go through this, but let's just say that everything you need is going to be in here. The last Bose headphones that I got were just a normal 35s, had everything that I needed and did not leave a whole lot of room for asking a lot of questions. Again, nice sturdy box here. No no frill box. Thank you, Bose. Then we get to the interior packet. Now, something I do like about these, one, it's got a hang tag on top that you can secure to a carabiner that you cl click onto your bag uh, or uh, click onto your, the, what I sometimes will do with my other one, when my, my one I travel with, is I have a carabiner here that I might click onto the back of the seat in front of me. That way this is just out so I don't forget about it. And then the other neat thing is back here, it's got like a little mesh pocket thing, which I have in the past used for my phone. I'll take my cell phone like this, slide this into there, and while I have it sitting behind my seat like that, it's just holding my phone for me. No big deal. Just keeps my phone from flying around in the back of the seat and picking up Lord knows what's in the back of the seat. Okay, unzipping. Opening up, how does it look? First time ever looking at it. Ah, oh, it's got that new headphone smell. Inside the lid over here is another little stretchy piece right here that you can use for your headphone jack uh, when you want to use it as a wired device. There's also a secondary wire in here, which I'm assuming is for telephone. It's going to have the um, outlet. Okay, this is for charging, a little short charger cord. USB type right there, 
and then the micro USB right there. Again, nothing, nothing special. You got a thousand of these at home. And then this is the headphone jack piece. So you just unplug this guy. And you can use this as a, uh, I'm sorry, not, I'm sorry, not headphone. Um, I'm sorry. You can use this as a wired. If, in, if for some reason you don't want to use the noise canceling piece of this, uh, or you're doing something else, you can plug this into your phone. If you have a, you, if you have a 3.5 millimeter jack in your phone or iPad or whatever you're using. And then the other end plugs into your headphones that you will have unlimited use of the headphones for sound and such but not necessarily noise canceling. Uh, so this goes here, and then we have what's left in here is, well, they call these silver. The box said silver. The packaging said silver. Uh, and I'm not real good with color, but that's black. Uh, so I, I don't mind, it's totally cool, I'm fine with that. But these are in fact not silver. Little foam inserts here to help keep things from banging around while they're on their trans-Pacific voyage here to the United States. And one thing I'll also notice that these did not include, that my other bows did include, is my other bows had in them, right here in the corner, let me make sure I'm not gonna throw something away. My other bows had right here in the corner a little small block that you could take out, plug in your headset piece to that and use it on airplanes that had those dual pin things at the seats. You don't see as many anymore these days, but my other headphones did have that and these I don't see having that as an option. Uh, again, not a deal killer. Uh, the headphones themselves look virtually identical to my old ones. It's kind of hard to maybe see on the camera, but there is a right and left in the ear cups. So you, they are a right and left. I always remember that the power switch is on the right hand side. So when you put them on, the power's on the right. On the back also, on the right side is your volume up, volume down, and the center button, there's like a center button and that's kind of like a pause button. If you're watching a TV show or movie or listening to music or whatever, you can do all that. Now, here's where things do. Okay, uh, here's where I got a little bit off the rails in my review. Sorry about that, I look really bleached out, sorry. Um, here's the deal. On these headphones, these are the new Bose headphones, um, there's two buttons I wanna talk with you about. The one that's a singular button on this, this side, and there's a one what they call the multifunction button on this side. This side right here, the by itself new button that they've added to the device is called the Google Action Assistant or Google Action button. This button specifically calls up Google on your phone and will allow you to do different things like receive texts, get answers to different questions you might have, play music, this, that, and the other. If you don't use Google, like if you're a Siri user or something else, you'd use the other side of the, <clears throat> of the device here to, I'm looking at the directions so I don't get this wrong. This is the multifunction button that will access your virtual assistant like Siri. So on this side, the center of the volume buttons will call up Siri as opposed to this one. Now, if you're not a Google user, this button over here isn't just dead. What this button will do is send, send the device to a different manual type mode where you can adjust the level of ambient noise that the device will let in. So this, doesn't, this does have multifunction use if you're not a Google user. It does, you're, you are able to scale up and down the amount of activity that this device will do. Sorry about that, back to the video. Um, another thing that I've noticed in, in my, the existing headphones that I have, the, Siri, the 35s, not Series 2, Series 1, is the, one of the big things I love is the battery in these things is ginormous. I get at least 20 hours of playtime. Every time you turn the device on, it'll, it'll tell you your battery percentage in tens. It's 100%, 90%, 80%, 70%. It doesn't say 74%. I don't know about these yet, but the other bows gave you percents in tens. So that's, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, but again, you can use the headphone piece of it and then bypass the noise canceling and it's unlimited use. But it's 20 hours of noise canceling uh, active use for this device. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention is right here is the charging port for the unit. And the other thing that I don't know if anybody really ever shares what or not, but back here on the right side, 
around the corner from everything is a little bit of a um, perforation area. That's where it, and here's an area right here as well. These areas are where it takes in ambient sound. Noise canceling means it takes the outside sound and makes enough, it creates enough canceling to offset that so the what you're listening, what you hear is quiet compared to what's outside. In an airplane, it uses much more noise canceling effort than it would use, for example, if you're in an office situation where it's very, very quiet, but you want to have them on to knock out uh, any kind of key clacking or uh, maybe some chatter four cubicles over, it, it would be great for doing those kind of activities. But it's using a less amount of noise canceling, you know, white noise and, and, and noise canceling capacity to overcome that. So I would suspect, being a not being a wagering person, but I would bet that the longer you use this in an airplane, there's more noise canceling being used, it might chew into your battery time more than it would be in a quieter environment using these, doing the exact same function, being listening music or whatever you're doing. Again, I don't know anything, nothing to base it on. Um, the other cool thing is when these go back into this container, into their, into their little case, when you wrap them up, I'll see if I can do this backwards for you. When you wrap them up, this goes up in here like that. There's a little cutout here for this round piece here, so these fit snugly together. This will not work this way. See where it's round on round? That doesn't work this way. It has to be this way with this little cutout notch in the back of this, the back of this unit, so these kind of fit together, go back into their case, to be all happy snug. I will say that the newer version, which has a slightly bit more of a functionality than my older ones did with the with the additional button, but less, they don't have the, the block in there for using on older type planes, which I've really actually never ever used those before. Um, this newer set retails at $350. The ones that I just bought, uh, when did I buy these other ones? Back in January, ones I actually bought, the 35 Series 1, uh, were about 320, they're running 329 right now. So for the additional $30, it's kind of up to you whether you, I'm sorry, $20. Is it better for you to get the newer version with the noise canceling and the thumb dealy, or just go the regular noise canceling? Completely up to you. Um, I, I'm hoping that these will work the exact same, have the exact same experience I have with the other ones. Um, I do love these guys. I fly very heavily. I'm, I'm on a road very, very heavily, and I use these almost every flight. Uh, they are great to use on a plane uh, when you're trying to get work done. Um, if there's a, something loud going on behind you, maybe some kids are being, you know, crying and because they have ear things, whatever. Uh, or if you have that neighbor who's kind of like this, you can say, hey, man, I'm, I'm man or man or ma'am. I'm really sorry, I've got to get some work done. Pop these things on, open up your laptop or iPad, and then get some work done. Um, uh, but these are really fantastic devices for travel, and they are truly sanity keepers. So thanks very much. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down for me below, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks as always for being here. Have a great day. Bye.